First at 4.30 today, we're nearly a year in to crews beginning the demolition of Richmond Town Square Mall. So right now, they're doing this to make way for a new 70-acre development. Uh, this will be apartments, real retail spaces. Well, today, the city of Richmond Heights is updating the con construction progress. Yeah, and you see Annabelle Childers there. She's live at the site. Annabelle, uh, what can people expect to see there in the coming months? Well, guys, people should see more and more buildings going up here. This project, this development called the Bell Oaks Marketplace is massive. You can already see some of the progress there. This is the Super Meyer grocery store, which the city says will open sometime in the first half of 2025. Last September, Richmond Town Square Mall, the shopping center that served the city for over 50 years, started coming down. Since then, Richmond Heights Director of Economic Development, Chelsea Kovar, says construction crews have cleared the site and demolished the mall. Before the year is over, Kovar says the old Sears building here will come down so progress can start on two buildings made up of over 100 residential apartment units. And the city says so far, all of this construction is on schedule. This is a $300 million redevelopment of the former mall site. And the mall was delinquent in almost a million dollars in taxes. So the fact that the taxes were recouped, the city didn't end up losing any money on that. And we found a developer to come in with a vision to reimagine this whole site. It's it's really a dream come true. The developer in charge of the project is Deal Point Merrill. According to their project timeline, the first building will open in August 2025, and the entire project is set to be complete by April 2027. Kovar says the development group has been intentional in incorporating community feedback and adapting their plans to meet the requests and wishes of those who live in Richmond Heights. When the project is fully complete, the Bell Oaks Marketplace will house 791 luxury apartments and also restaurants and retail stores. Kovar believes this is not only something the community wants, but something that will create a boom for the area. Now, Kovar says people will not be able to move into these apartments until sometime in 2026. But at 530, we will explain how you can act now if this is a place you want to live in. Matt? Okay, a lot to look forward to for some people. Annabelle, thank you.